Hey everyone, in the previous video we learned how to split a column on delimiters. In this one we will learn how to split a column by the number of characters. So let's start. So I've got some data here with me in the dim product table. What I've got is the product alternate key and I've removed the other columns and I've created a copy of that field. So I can show you what uh, we've done. So let's go on the, I'm on the home tab and I'll go to edit queries and click on edit queries. And this will open the Power Query Editor for me. Now let me select dim product. And I've got this product alternate key. So I right click on that. And I go to split column. And I go to by number of characters. And as you can see over here with the data, the f we want to remove the first three let's say because after hyphen we are assuming that uh, it is uh, what we want to keep and before uh, the hyphen we really are not concerned so we could say uh, once as far left as possible three so it's basically saying uh, keep take the first three characters put them in one column and then the remaining uh, characters in the other column so i'll just click okay and you'll see what I mean. So you can see the first three characters. If you look at product alternate key, AR hyphen is in one and then the remaining digits are, uh, are in the other column. And you can see even going down. So uh, the 10th row, MI8B hyphen 40 is uh, sort of split into another column. So you can sort of just, it's a bit like uh, left for those who come from the T SQL world. But what you basically doing is you sort of are splitting it into two parts, taking the first three characters as one and the other are in the next column. So I'll remove this. And uh, let's uh, look at the second option on, on uh, splitting the column by number of characters. And it, as far as right, uh, as far right, uh, sorry about that, as far right as possible. So you can, let's say I just want to keep the last the two rightmost characters in one column. So I could say two and one says, and then click OK. And you can see here that the two rightmost columns are in a separate, uh, sorry, two rightmost digits or alphabets are in the right, are in a separate column. Uh, so uh, this is another one. And I'll again right click and go on to uh, split column by number of characters and the third one is repeatedly. So which essentially means okay you can keep three characters and then keep splitting it. So three characters if it's a six character word it will be two. If it is a nine character word it will be three. So let me just hit okay here and this will become clear. So you can see because we said repeatedly split by three characters it's done that so ar hyphen 538 and then one and then the last one is basically a null but in the 10th row you can see bk hyphen m18 b hyphen 4 and 0 so uh, this is another way to split the column by uh, uh, specifically saying or uh, specifying the number of characters you want to split on uh, so I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, please go ahead and like my videos as well. I would really appreciate that. And thanks a lot for your time.